All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a project based on Vincent Van Gogh. Starry night, let's get going. All right, so for this project, you can either use blank sheet of white paper or you can use color paper. Color paper does look better, so let's get going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that you guys know what Starry Night looks like. So I'm gonna post it right over here. And basically what Starry Night is, it's basically a nighttime scene using very, very vibrant colors. Now, I do have an example somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. So I found my examples. I do have two uh, using two different types of construction paper. One's in black and one's in purple. Now, if you don't have these uh, colors in particular, it does work cool in blue also. And actually, you know what? You can probably use any color you want. Anyways, um, so I have a purple one right here. So this one's halfway done, obviously. And then we also have a black one right here. So again, you can use construction paper if you'd like, but it also works with just normal printer sheet of white paper. So anyways, uh, let's get going. So with Starry Night, um, there's a couple ways you can do this. Let me put this right here. <laughs> That way you guys can still see it. All right, I'm gonna put this one right there. Put this one right there. So what you're gonna do is that you wanna make sure your paper is horizontal. So make sure your paper is left to right. And then you wanna draw the wavy line on the bottom so you can separate the sky from the land. So I'm gonna put my wavy line down below, just like this. It's a little bit harder to see, but it's okay because we don't wanna see my pencil line later. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add at least six to seven stars, just using normal circle sizes, but the size will look maybe like a dime here and there. If you want to add a crescent moon, kind of like a half bin cookie, you can add it somewhere if you're like uh, you're liking as well. And then once you add that, you're going to add a couple wavy lines on the top to symbolize the wind. If you want to curl one, you can. I'll do a curly one right there. And I'll just do a wavy line right there. All right, we have the gist of the drawing done. Uh, if you can't see that, I apologize. Maybe I can zoom in real quick, but um, I really can't do this in marker because it's gonna look really weird. So now what we're gonna do is let me show you guys a quick technique when it comes to using construction paper. All right, so I'm gonna scooch this paper right here. Now look at what happens. If I just color this yellow, it looks like a dull yellow, right? In order to make that uh, yellow brighter, all you gotta do is put white on top first, and then you can put yellow on top. Now you can see the difference. This is brighter because it added, has yellow on the bottom. This one's a little bit more dull because it has no thing to bright it up, which is a white. Now, if you have white paper, then just color it normally. <laughs> All right, so here we go. When it comes to the, the ground, basically where the grass is to resemble Vincent Van Gogh's drawing, you wanna pick two different types of greens. You wanna find a dark green. So here is my dark green. And you wanna find a light green. So I'm gonna find a light green, I think, this might be my best bet. I don't want to go too light. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one green. I'm just going to start doing vertical lines just like this. See that? That way it looks like the grass is pointing up. Do you want to go side to side? Answer is no. That's for later. We want to go up and down with our grass just like that. You want to make sure you stay below this little wavy line we did. So I'm going to try to outline that so you guys can see it's going down that line so I can't go above this section so I'm gonna go like this all the way across so it might take me a while okay but it's okay your hand will get tired I promise you that so if you need to take a break here and there because your hand or wrist is getting tired because of all the coloring you're doing that's okay because I'm getting tired too right now all right so I'm gonna finish this off with my dark green all right, that's it for my dark green. I'm gonna put that away, because I don't need any more. I'm gonna go back with my light green and do the exact same thing. Notice how the dark or the light green doesn't show up as much. That's because we don't have the white, but we don't have time to add the white right now. So don't add white to the ground, because it's gonna look very different and you don't want that to happen. But you know what I can do? Once I'm done, I can probably try to find an even brighter green, and hopefully that'll make our grass stand out even more. So why don't I just finish this up as best as I can and then I'm gonna go pick another green All right, here is another type of green. This one's called sea green. And let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, wow. Yeah, it makes it stand out a little bit more I'm not sure if you guys can notice the difference, but Let's see if I can just do half the page 
and then let's see if you guys can tell the difference or not. If you like if you guys like it better, or if you guys don't see a difference. Alright. Alright, so I just did half the paper. So I did this half with the light, the screen, and then this one doesn't have it yet. So it kinda looks a little bit better, right? So I'm gonna keep going because I don't want the paper to look uneven. So I'm gonna go as quick as possible. My hand's getting super tired. So I'm, I'm assuming you guys are getting tired as well just by doing grass. But the more grass, the better it'll look. So with that said, we're off to start doing the sky. The first part of the sky I wanna do are the stars and the moon. Now remember what I said when it comes to the yellow, if you wanna make the yellow brighter, you have to add white. However, if you have a blank sheet of paper, which is just plain white paper, you don't need to do this step. Oh, broke the crayon. That's bound to happen once in a while. So I'm gonna do my stars first, just like so. And then I'm gonna do my crescent moon. Now you can really see it on my construction paper now. Just like that. All right, now in order to make it bright stars, bright yellow stars, I'm gonna go back over it with a yellow. And that way, you can see it way better. All right. Now if you wanna do the moon, a yellow color, you can. I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. Not too much, because I want to leave a little bit of white in there. Alright, there we go. Now, in order to make it more vibrant, like how these stars are, and how Vince Van Gogh did it, we're going to take that same white, and we're just going to make dashes to circle the star. So I just did a couple like there, maybe we'll do a couple right here. It's a hard step, but it'll look better once you're done and taking your time. So I'm going to go back with my yellow and cover those white lines just like this. So now it looks like these uh, stars are more vibrant and they look like they are shining very bright. All right, one more. Actually, no, I lied. There's another one over there somewhere. Here we go. I'm gonna cover it with my yellow. There we go. All right, now, next step. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the wind. Now, the wind is very simple. I did a couple squiggly lines here. I can outline them now with white, just like this. I have one more right here. And then I'm gonna cover it with a blue. Doesn't matter what color blue for right now, but this is supposed to resemble the wind. It's a very windy picture in Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. And if you want to add more wind, you can add just white streaks here and there, just like this, to emphasize it's really windy. If you want to add a white one by itself, you can. All right, now, here comes the fun part. Kind of like what we did with the grass, going up and down, up and down. But instead of going up and down, we're going to go side to side with our dashes. Now, the color that we need is a dark blue, so I'm going to find my dark blue, if I can find it. <laughs> I want to make sure I get the right one. All right, I think it's this one. Ooh, that's really dark blue. Great. Find my dark blue, and I'm going to try to use a different blue for the sky. I think this will be more vibrant. Yes, so I'm going to use this one for my light blue. I'm going to use this one for my dark blue. And kind of like what we did with the grass, but we're going to go opposite by going like this. We're just going to do dashes side to side. And make sure when you're doing this, avoid the wind and you want to avoid your stars. And again, your arm's going to get tired again, just like how it got tired with the grass. So you want to make sure you do it properly. Okay. Okay, my arm's already getting tired. As you guys can see, can you guys see I'm getting tired? I'm getting tired. <laughs> All right, we're almost there with the dark blue. I can probably put my dark blue away any minute. Notice how I'm not pressing too hard so I don't break my crayon. Broken crayons are not fun, but they happen. Broken crayons happen. All right, now I can do my light blue. Sometimes people like to do a curve, like kind of like curve like this. But um, I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna waste too much of your time. Time is valuable, friends. 
So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make sure I finish this off as best as I can. Making sure I'm finishing strong, make sure I'm not getting too tired, and I'll make sure I make this look good. So when I'm done, I can autograph it, and I can hang it up somewhere really cool. Okay, I'm more than halfway there. I just gotta finish this last section right here. Oh, getting tired. Ugh. And I'm officially done. So anyways, uh, that's it for this project. This is called Van Gogh Starry Night. And if you want to autograph it, I highly suggest you do it somewhere on the hill. So maybe I'll put it right here. Mr. Hill. Ta-da! And the picture looks great. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.